However, large number of chromosomes in a species does not necessarily make it a higher organism. Man has 46 chromosomes. Ladybird, 16. Chrysanthemum, 18. The black rat has 42 chromosomes. The karyotype of the black rat shows 13 pairs of acrocentrics and 7 pairs of metacentrics. The history of organisms is inscribed in the chromosomes. Then, how is the history of the rat inscribed in its chromosomes? This is the laboratory of Dr. Toshihide Yoshida. In April 1962, the doctor was examining chromosomes of the black rat when he happened to notice that the shape of chromosomes in some black rats, the largest chromosome, should have been acrocentric. But one member of the pair of the black rat's first chromosome happened to be subtelocentric. This led the doctor to believe that the top of the acrocentric chromosome broke and turned end for end to form a subtelocentric chromosome. To solve this question, Dr. Yoshida traveled all over Japan and collected black rats. In five years, he caught 453 black rats and examined their chromosomes. <laughs> If the assumption that the subtelocentric black rats enter Japan separately from the acrocentric type is correct, then there must be a region where only the subtelocentrics exist. When this discovery became known, some foreign scientists began studying chromosomes of the black rat. They collected in large numbers the Oceanian type black rats with 38 chromosomes. It had also come to light that the black rats with 42 chromosomes lived only in Asia. But what he has been able to learn is, of course, only a minuscule of what evolution has accomplished in two billion years. Where did you come from, dear rats?